Okay, so we have 10 herbal medicine plants here in the Philippines where the OH approved. So the Philippines population grows at an average of 1.7 million each year. So one of the concerns that go with population increase is the problem on people's health. So the high cost of Western medicine and treatment resulted in the growing number of self-medicating people. Many have also resorted to traditional medicines, thus the growing demand of natural products. Aside from financial considerations, people optional for natural products because they have become concerned of what they use as a food and medicines. With this situation, the Department of Health through the Philippines Institute of Traditional Alternative Health Care or what we call PITAHC, PITAC, under Republic Act of Number 8423, endorsed the use of traditional medicines in the country. So, medical plants abound in nature since most of them are available and easily accessible. These medicines are more affordable compared to uh, synthetic drugs. Ten medicine plants have been endorsed by the DOH, PIT, AHC, or PTAC after they have been scientific, scientifically validated to ensure safety and efficacy. These are the Acapulco the Ampalaya or Makiling variety, um, Lagundi or the five leaflets, Bawang, Bayabas, Sambong, Niug Niogan, Chaang Gubat, Yerba Buena, and Ulasimang Bato or what we call the Pansit Pansita. Uh, these are the uses of the 10 scientifically validated. So first one is the Lagundi which we call the uh, Vitex Negundo. The use of this is for cough and asthma. Second one is the sambong or what we call the blumea balsamifera. Or this is used for antiurilatiasis or it's, uh, it is called a kidney stones. The third one is the ampalaya which is the momordica carantia. So this... Uh, the use of this ampalaya is to lower the blood sugar and anti-diabetes. So, the fourth one is the garlic, which is the allium sativum, which is for anti-cholesterol. And the fifth one is the guava, which is the sidium guajava, which is for oral, oral or skin antiseptic. And the sixth one is the chaangubat, which is the um, carmona setusa is used for mouthwash and for yerba buena the seventh one is the mentha ar arvensis which used for analgesic or antipyretic the eighth one is the niug niogan which is the quasaqualis or indica i mean quasaqualis indica it is for anti-helmentic so the ninth one is the acapulco which is the kasha alata it is used for antifungal and the last one is the ul Ulasimang gubat, which is the pe Peperomia pellucida. It is used for anti-hyperuricemia. The next one is, I'll give you a tips of growing herbal and medicine plants. This is according to the site uh, selection of growing medicine plants. So, first one is, it should be free from pollu pollution such as the soil. Uh, there is no heavy metals, pesticides, residues, and um, high microbial count. The other one is the airway from a road heavily uh, traversed by motor uh, motor motorized vehicle. Third one is the airway also from farms using pesticides. And the fourth one is water. Should be no contamination with microorganisms and pesticides. The fifth one is the accessible to motorized vehicles because it is very polluted. And the last one is the uh, with reliable and clean water source for you to um, water your herbal plants. For additional safety guidelines on using medicinal plants, first one is do not take for granted the identification of this herb or the herb that you're using. The second one is use only the recommended amount of the recommended period. Third one is if you're over 65 and sensitive to drugs, 
start with low strength preparation. And the fourth one is be extra cautious if you have chronic diseases. You should comply first with your doctors. And fifth one is uh, pay attention to any symptoms of toxicity because this is very dangerous to our life, especially for those who are having chronic diseases and use this herbal um, herbal medicine plant just to um, just to treat their self and not even complying with their doctors. Um, the sixth one is be extra careful when using um, herbal oil also. And the seventh one is with few exceptions, pregnant and nursing women should not use healing herbs as with medicines without doctor's advice. This is very um, advisable for those who are pregnant women, for those who, who have chronic diseases, you should be uh, comply with medical um, professions and the last one is with few exceptions healing herbs should not be given to children below two years old without doctor's advice so always always remember do not give this herbal medicine to below two years old. So for this video, I will be specific with the Chaang Gubat herbal medicine. So uh, the scientific name for this is uh, Eretia microphylla or Carmon Carmona retusa, or we call this in the Philippines as Chaang Gubat. So this is a registered in the Philippines Bureau of Foods and Drugs as a medicine for its proven therapeutic property its phyto constituents include alkaloids um, flavonoids sap saponins phenols um, tannins glycosides um, terpenoids and caldelodide no cardenolides so this herb is scientifically proven for its medicinal worth, mainly its anti-spasmodic uh, effect, it is extensively endorsed by the Philippines Department of Health in treatment of stomach ache, um, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. So the herb is prepared by making it is a tea, hence in, uh, its name Chaangubat, which literally means tea from the forest. So, intensive studies by the National Integrated Research Program of Medicine Plants, which is the NRR, no, NRPROMP, showed that Changubat lives to be effective um, remedy for biliary colic. So, it can also work as a good mouthwash at its, um, as it contains um, high fluoride fluoride content thus preventing tooth decay so traditionally changubat is used as a uh, disinfectant wash during childbirth um, newer studies show that it has an anti-allergy component of if used together with a sambong and lagundi so microfilon a unique dimeric um Dimeric perennial benzoquinone was identified anti-allergy component present in Chaang Gubat. So, its other components demonstrated um, promising results as an anti-diabetic and antibacterial mechanisms having include in the DOH 10 medicinal plants is a testament to its high proven medica medicinal properties for more details about changubat or the carmona retusa also called uh, philippine tea is a shrub that grows wild in the tropical climate of india so not also uh, in india but also in sri lanka and here in the philippines so it is also cultivated as ornamental plant as a single plant or hedge recently gaining popularity as a uh, bonsai in China or in Japan. So, Chaangubat is an erect shrub with green compound leaves. Uh, the Chaangubat shrub grows to about 1 to 4 meters high 
and can be found in secondary forests in low and medium altitudes. So, Changgu bat leaves grows in clusters on short branches, which is 3 to 6 cm long or somewhat tooth or lobe near the apex and pointed at the base. So, short, stalk, and rough um, on the upper surface. So, Changgu bat bears small white flowers and axillary solitary and two or four on common stock so it bears yellow fruits when ripe about four to five um, millimeter in diameter and fleshy with a four seed stones so this is a chango but it's a traditional uh, medis medicinal use so chango but is widely used in the philippines as herbal medicine for skin diseases and stomach problems as I say a while ago and where it is available in tablet and tea bags also forms while there are other claimed health benefits as follows so this is for allergy can, uh, canker sores colic cough diarrhea diabetes dysentery uh, eczema gastroenteritis itching inflammation scabies skin diseases stomach problems um, feeding problems and wounds so for the scientific studies relating to this changubat or the carmona retusa it is for anti-allergy the changubat were studied for possible anti-allergy substances to counter the histamine release from mast cells that cause type 1 reactions <coughs> So, for antibacterial, in a study done to evaluate the antibacterial activity of Carmona retusa, three different uh, uh, extracts have been prepared with um, petroleum ether, methanol, and clo chloroform separately from Carmona retusa. So, for Changu bud, it is for analgesic activity. The major constituent of Carmona retusa um, Leaves is an intractable mixture of tripenis, namely um, A amarin. Uh, it is also for B amarin and buranol uh, uh, at a dosage of 100 uh, milligram per kilogram mouse. So the triterpene mixture exhibited 51% analgesic activity but only showed 20% anti-inflammatory activity so next one is for uh, anti-inflammatory so based on the above results it is suggests that um, the alcoholic extract of carmona retusa possess anti-inflammatory activity studied by a uh, vitro assays so anti-inflammatory activity may be due to presence of many uh, phytochemical in the extract so however further studies were required to identify the lead molecule uh, in the extract and to study the action of mechanisms so chaanggubat uh, these are some usage and dosage for chaanggubat so chaanggubat thrives in the wild even without too much care so it is also cultivated as uh, ornamental plant so chaanggubat plant can be both from your local um, horticulture horticul tourists. So, Changubat in tablet and tea bag forms are now available in health stores. So, Carmona retusa seeds are also available. Um, so, Changubat tea preparation it should be pound or cut about half cup of Changubat leaves. So, then add in two cups of water for boil for 10 to 15 minutes with open pot cover so let it steep and strain store in a glass jar consume within the the day when symptoms persist or irritation occurs stop the use and consult your doctor so how to use the uh changubat decoction so herbal tea take one cup three times a day for herbal wash to be applied directly as a wash over the affected area or for herbal gargle this can be gargled to treat canker sores and for treating uh i mean teething problems so changu but use um, warnings and side effects 
cortical and external application, Chang Gubat has been proven beneficial even for young children, um, pregnant women, and breastfeeding mothers. So, Chang Gubat is not known to be harmful when taken in recommended dosages. However, individuals should always take caution before using for any treatment. So, for pregnancy and breastfeeding, there are no uh, sufficient scientific done to investigate adverse reaction nor side effects of Chaangubat during pregnancy and breastfeeding. So, stay on the safe side. Avoid using Chaangubat herbal medicine for internal use. So, for allergies, um, Chaangubat can also... Um, occur allergies in rare cases changubat has caused allergic reactions when applied to the skin so be careful if symptoms uh, persist you can comply with your uh, medical professions okay so i have here a changubat so i will separate first the stem and the leaves I will gather all the leaves Okay, so after all gathering the leaves here, make sure to wash it properly since these leaves will be boiled and the um, and the tea that we'll provide by the leaves will be drink. So please, when preparing this um, changubat, always wash it properly. Okay, so after washing that uh, changubat leaves, so prepare your materials. Use a small casserole and put. I'll for me. I'll put a two cup of water. Or. Let's put three cup, cups of water. Okay, 
So after that, you prepare the water for boiling. Okay, so now after preparing the water, you put the leaves. Okay, so as the in instruction says, we must boil the water for within 15 minutes. So let's cover the pot and let's wait until 15 minutes. While waiting for the shango, but um, for 15 minutes, so I'll be giving you common names. Um, not only shango, but, but they also call this um, ala alangit, um, alangit ngit. Balingsaa, Buntatay, um, Buyo Buyo, Buyok Buyok, Cha, Chaang Bundok, Chaang Gubat, um, Gari, uh, Ichanga Atap, or Ichati Bakir, Icha, Kalamoga, Kalimugmog, Kalimumog, um, Manit, um, Mara Mara, Maratia, um, Mura Mara, um, Palup Palupo, Putputai, Santin, Cha, na TSA, um, Forest Tea, um, in English also they call this as Pokian Tea Tree, um, Philippine Tea Tree. Scorpion bush or uh, wild tea. So, those are common names of Changu, but um, ever you encounter them, they are um, they are one. They are Changu, but so for other vernacular names, these are in Chinese it is Jijishu, in Hindi it is Pala, in India it is Kujipana, in Indonesia it is Kinangan. Serut lanang or pina, pinaan. In uh, Canada, it is butte. In Tamil, it is katuvelilai, uh, kodikaray, kuruvinchi, kurango veti, vetilal. And in Telugu, it is bavanbure or bur. In Thailand, it is koichin, chaayepun, chaa. Okay, so for Changu, but the distribution for this um, plant is easily found from from here in the Philippines. It is easily found from Bataan Island uh, and northern Luzon to Palawan and Mindanao. And it is most or all island uh, and provinces in thickets and secondary forests at low and medium altitudes. So also occurs in India to southern China, Taiwan, and um, Malaya. After 15 minutes of boiling this changu bud, so you are now ready to stir. So stir first since there are some residue that are not Okay, so stir first since there are some red residue that should not be drank. So there you go, the changubat. So this is the changubat. If you have more water in the uh, boiled casserole, so you can put in a jar so that you can drink that in a day. So this is to be drink three times a day. Here you go. 